Hey guys, my name is Jonathan Henderson, owner and founder of Pressure Washing Marketing Pros, and today what I want to talk to you guys about are Google Ads versus SEO and which one is best for your pressure washing business. Because on the several inquiries that we get, you know, me and my team get on a month to month basis, week to week basis, we always have whether it be a new business, a seasoned business, you know, veteran business, they always ask us what channel, what platform is better for my pressure washing business, Google Ads or SEO. So in this video, I want to break down, you know, what Google Google Ads are, what SEO are, you know what I mean, some factors to consider when you're running, you know, both kind of campaigns, also what your goals are and some things that you could take in consideration, you know, before you start and invest in both of these channels, right? Because you do need and you know, you do need to do some form of digital marketing, online marketing in order to grow your pressure washing business, but I'm going to elaborate on all of that in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Google Ads versus SEO. So first thing that you might ask, like, what is SEO, right? So SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization, which essentially is increasing the quality and quantity of traffic that you have through organic search results, such as Google. So here's an example of SEO results. We've all seen them before, right? So as you can see right here, we're pressure washing Orlando. You got the map pack, and then right under the map pack, you have the organic results, right? Then what are Google Ads? You know, Google Ads are an online advertising solution that you know, businesses use to promote their products and sell services on Google. And you know that Google owns YouTube and they own other partner sites as well, so you can advertise on there also, right? So example of Google ad results, as you can see, you know, we see them every time we click on Google, whether we're looking for a landscaper, pressure washing services, myriads of services, right? So we see that. And so as you can see, these are examples of Google ad results. And some key SEO statistics that you guys should know, right? Um, inbound leads such as SEO, you know, cost 61% less than outbound leads such as direct mail or cold calling. Because I hear a lot of the time that guys send out cold, you know, cold mail. They go send out direct mail and they're like, hey, you know, I didn't get any calls back. Now, there's other factors that go into play why that campaign didn't work. But, you know, organically, though, as you can see over time, which I'll be discussing later in the video, you know, they cost a lot less. You know, 51% of, of all website traffic comes from organic search, 10% goes to paid search, 5% to social, and 35, 34% from all other sources. And even from the all other sources, when it's the 34%, sometimes when we, you know, search something, there are results that go unclicked, you know? SEO leads have a 14.6, you know, close rate compared to 1.7 for outbound leads such as print advertisements. So as you know, like inbound leads, SEO, as you know, has a better close rate. Uh, organic traffic is more likely to convert than any other type of traffic as 92% of customers are more likely to choose a business that is on the first page of Google search results. And we've all been there. None of us have searched for the best businesses or for a service, whether it be, you know, plumbing services, you know. We never looked for the second page. Hardly anybody does. So why would anybody do that when it comes to pressure washing services as well? So some key Google Ads statistics as well. People who click on, you know, the ads are, people who click on Google Ads are 50% more likely to make a purchase, right? 90% of consumers say ads influence their purchase decisions. 43% of users purchase something after seeing an online ad. And 63% of people have actually clicked on Google Ad. So what does that basically tell me right now? That basically tells me that there's a buyer's intent, an immediate buyer's intent when people are looking for Google Ads, which brings me to my next point, that a lot of you know pressure washing business owners don't seem to understand fully, right? You know, whether they be running an SEO campaign, Google Ads campaign, or even Facebook ads, right? Is understanding the customer buying cycle, right? The customer buying cycle. You have to understand this if you want any digital marketing or any marketing campaign at that to be successful is knowing the customer buying cycle and knowing its different stages right so as you know there's the awareness can you help me so that might be somebody like you know somebody's wife or somebody's husband might be like hey we need to get our house pressure washed right you know consideration they went ahead and uh, searched you on Google at that point, right? They're considering your business, right? So pressure washing services, they see you, so they're considering you. Okay, what do they do? Do they, you know, do they do gutter cleaning, right? The interest part, what's different about you, right? What's different about you? So as you can see, this is if somebody was going through an SEO trail, right? As if they were like clicking on your website. Preference, you know, what do you bring? Do you have reviews on your website? All of that. And then... Bam, leads them to that purchase. And so what I've seen, the difference between SEO and PPC is that 
you know, the, the, the customer buying cycle is a lot different, right? I know that you guys have noticed, but when it comes to SEO, those clients seem like clients that seem to find you on your website, all of that tend to be, tend to pay a much higher rate. You know what I mean? Then your clients that you may have gotten on Google ads because of the customer buying cycle, right? And the reason why I say that is that they start with just awareness and they go through the full cycle. So once they, once they go through the full cycle, they become more committed, you know what I mean, to your business at that point. Therefore, they're willing to pay a premium price opposed to people that are you know, coming from Google Ads. We know that they cost strictly from Google Ads and like how much, how long, and when can you do this? They're at the purchase stage, right? So like I said, they didn't go through that full cycle. You know, so I want to give you four factors to consider when you're weighing SEO versus PPC, right? So first things first is going to be location. You know, just for me running over 35 pressure washing, you know, Google ad campaigns for businesses, as I, you know, as I've seen, populations with at least 300,000 people have worked wonders, right, when it comes to with Google ads. And what I mean by that is population or target area, right? So, you know, you could like live in a city that has 200,000 people, but your reach is, you know, 25 miles around that city, right? So you might get, you know, 300,000 people in that target area, right? So bigger cities fare a lot better with Google Ads. So if you're like in a place like Orlando, if you're in a place like Atlanta, you're going to have a hungry market that's always in constant demand. So that's why you want to go ahead and utilize Google Ads, right? SEO can be easier and cheaper for small, you know, for small businesses in small area populated areas, right? So if I'm in like the middle of Kansas, you know, in a small city that has a population of 10,000, you know, my location is going to make it much easier for me to go ahead and to invest into, you know, go ahead and invest in SEO and see immediate results because there's not much competition. You know, results of SEO are much quicker in smaller populated areas. Like I was telling you guys, you know, in these smaller populated areas, as you know, you know, it's easy to rank quickly like I talked about. Getting good organic results can even be, you know, twice as hard for businesses. So if I'm a new business, right, and I'm in Atlanta and I'm like, you know what, I want my main source of traffic to come from SEO. There's already plenty of competition in Atlanta, you know, or even in Orlando that for a new business, it's going to take you light years, you know, it's going to take you years, not really going to take you years, but it's going to take you a very long time to go ahead and rank in that area. So is that your best option, right? You know, so you have to factor in the location of where you're at, you know, your budget, right? So my definition of what a large budget and a small budget is, is going to be anything below, anything above $1,500 that you can invest into digital marketing for, you know, that is going to be a large budget, right? So that means that if I'm running an SEO campaign, I can pay somebody 700 bucks to go ahead and run that SEO campaign for me. And as you see, the keyword is digital marketing. I'm not talking about all around marketing because some people may say, well, damn, I spend that much on EDDM flyers. I spend that much on, you know, just this alone. I'm talking about just for digital marketing, right? And so a small budget is anything below a thousand dollars. And the reason why I've come to that price point, and the reason why that why I've come to that conclusion, right, is because for that fifteen hundred dollars, you know what I mean? For that fifteen hundred dollars in Google Ads, I tell people at a minimum a lot of the time is that that is how much you want to invest in your Google Ads campaign. You know what I mean? A thousand dollars at the very minimum. And then if you also have somebody that is going to you know, run those and manage them, that's going to cost money as well, you know? So also, you have to think about it, you know, I tell a lot of businesses personally, if you don't have a thousand dollars, at least on a month-to-month -month basis, in order to go ahead and invest in some sort of digital marketing service, you shouldn't even be thinking about SEO or even sometimes Google Ads because it's just not going to be that tangible, which is why I tell a lot of people that they get ripped off by these, you know, companies that that offer $299 SEO because you can't really get, you know, moving the needle type of results that you desire off of that. So that's why I always say find another predictable, you know, source of income, but that's for another video. Now, a big one too is going to be teams and systems, right? Teams and systems. And the reason why teams and systems are so important is because, for example, like I talked about earlier when it comes to that buying cycle, right? Are you a one-man operation or do you have a team? So if I'm in Google Ads, what I tend to find with Google Ads is that there's two big factors that make them different in, you know, when it comes to Google Ads clients, like I said, in the buying cycle, is that a lot of those people, 
you know, whether they be price shopping, but they either want the job done immediately. That's what I've always noticed when it comes to Google Ads. Not saying all, but I'm saying a lot of those people want those jobs done like, you know, within the next two to three days and they're not loyal to you. They don't know your brand. Like I said, when it comes to that buying cycle, like I explained earlier, they don't know your brand. They're not fully invested in you. You know what I mean? Just yet. So you have to think about that. You know what I mean? So if I'm on top of a roof and I'm cleaning and I'm getting calls from my Google Ads campaigns and I'm like, man, I got, I'm a one man operation and I'm on top of a roof cleaning and I'm like, man, I can provide you the estimate you know, let's say today's Wednesday and I say I can provide you the estimate on Friday, right? That person may be like, ah, we'll call back and just let you know. They're going to move on to the next company because they're not loyal to you yet. You haven't taken them through that buying cycle, right? So that's why that matters. Who handles your calls too? That's the same thing. Like, can, can you go out and work and you can at least have somebody go handle calls? Or can you handle calls while somebody else is fulfilling the jobs? Which brings me to the next question. Who and how do you provide estimates and fulfill jobs? That's why that's important. You know, that is why that is fundamentally important. And how do you follow up? Whether it be with Google Ads, whether it be with SEO, if you were to get these leads and you didn't immediately capture their attention, how would you follow up with those people again? Do you have a system in place? Do you have a CRM that maybe text them? Do you have a CRM that goes ahead and sends them an email, right? Do you have these things in place when it comes to your business, right? These are things that you have to consider when you're looking at SEO and you're looking at, you know, PPC. Your goals, right? Goals are probably one of the biggest things too. Do you want immediate leads? Do you want a bigger organic presence? Do you want to take your business to that next level, right? That is what you guys want to go ahead and see. You know what I mean? That's what you guys want to go ahead and factor in as well. What are your goals? You know, and I'll be talking about that more. Like that that plays a big role when it comes to using Google Ads and using, you know, SEO. So let's go over the benefits of Google Ads, right? So with Google Ads, you have immediate results. As you can see right here, you if I type impression washing Atlanta and I run an ad right there, I'm immediately up there, right? I don't have to wait six months, you know, to a year when it comes to SEO results. I am right there, tangibly right there, right? So that is awesome. So it provides me immediate results. You know, it's scalable, right? So with Google Ads, it's scalable. If I see that I'm only investing, if I see that I'm only investing like you know, $50 a day when it comes to my Google Ads campaigns and I see my budget kind of running out and I'm getting some calls, I can scale that to about $100 a day and get more of that demand, right? In SEO, you can't necessarily do that sometimes. You can't just say, you know, I'm going to scale my SEO, right? Because it's not something that you're necessarily in control of, which I'll talk about. So you're in total control when it comes to your Google Ads. And what I mean by that is that you pick the desired area that you're targeting, right? You set the budget that you want, right? You set the demographics, you set the ad copy, you set all of that in place that you can go control. You set the keywords that you want people to find you by, right? So that is why you're in total control when it comes to Google Ads and that is a benefit to that, right? That is a benefit. Predictability, right? Once you have a good Google Ads campaign down, besides a little, you know, changing your bids and things like that, you kind of have a predictable system of, okay, you know, if you've been running it for a year or two, you can kind of see at this point, I know in May, you know, during our busy season, I get X amount of leads because, you know, I last year I got that. So I can expect that. Right. And you do that over the years and it becomes predictable at that point. So the thing about Google Ads is it's predictable. You kind of can see not 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 be for certain, but you can kind of see the consistency and the predictability of, you know, what you're going to go ahead and get in Google Ads. Right. I'm like I was talking about hyper targeting selection, right? So you can hyper target if I'm like just saying kissing me, right? I can go ahead and target people in Sanford. You know what I mean? Like like right here if I'm a business and SEO that may not be the case because I have to rank in Sanford at that point. But if Google Ads, if I want to do that, I can do hyper targeting selection for my business. Um, also, another good thing when it comes to Google Ads are they, they're easily tracked. You can easily track and measure your results in there, right? You can measure conversions. You can measure all of this stuff when it comes to your Google Ads campaigns. You can measure how many clicks you got. You can measure how much money you spent from that. You can measure how much you know a cost per conversion cost you, right? A cost per lead cost you, right? So you can measure all of this stuff which you could in SEO, but it's just way easier to do with Google Ads as well. It's right there, tangibly. So some of the cons of Google Ads as well, because not everything is shiny when it comes to Google Ads. 
So they can be very costly in the long term, right? Because you got to think about it. You're just, you're always going to be spending money at that point. You know what I mean? So in the long term, if you don't, sometimes if you, if, even if you don't have an SEO strategy in place, it can be very costly in that long term when it comes to that, right? Because you're constantly oozing out money out of your business to recoup that, right? When sometimes, you know, word of mouth, that is completely free, right? SEO, once you get up there, that can be completely free, right? So you know with Google Ads, it can be very costly long term. You know, once you stop paying, your visibility disappears. And if your visibility disappears, what does that mean? Your leads stop, right? Your leads stop once your visibility disappears. So at that point, you know, you have to keep paying, which is what I was saying previously that it can be costly in the long term. So once you stop paying, your visibility disappears. So that's one thing to consider, you know? Um, no exponential improvements over time. So like with PPC advantages, like I talked about, you get the immediate effects of that. Like I talked about earlier, you get immediate results. And so once you have a campaign humming, which I wish we could all, you know, with with our campaigns, you know, at Pressure Washing Marketing Pros, we can get them optimized, you know, in the first week, right? But like I'm saying, with this, as you can see, let's just say that everybody has their campaign optimized after that first month. You're gonna keep hitting consistent benchmarks all the time it's not going to necessarily see an exponential growth over time right it's not like if i'm already spending 250 dollars when it comes to my google ads campaign off of the keywords that i'm targeting you know what i mean there's just it's not like i don't get an exponential improvement over that i may not even spend that budget with seo though you get an exponential improvement over time you know what i mean so that's one of those big things about it also Paid ads are often skipped. As you guys know, a lot of people see the little ad, you know, the little ad thing right next to your guys' search result, right? And they see ad and they're like, you know what, I, I want to go skip to the Google Map Pack. You know, the Google Map Pack is a great real estate to have. So one of the best places, if not the best place online to go ahead and get leads. But like I said, you know, paid ads are often skipped at that point. So you have to take that in consideration as well. 70% of the search results go to the top five organic results to include the map pack. So let's go with the pros of SEO, right? The pros of SEO are going to be the ROI, you know, return on investment. So, you know, when you run an SEO campaign, as you can see what we talked about here, right? So this red dotted line is your budget. You know, this is your campaign end right here. Once you end the campaign, you're not getting any more results when it comes to your SEO stuff, right? So as you can see with PPC, you're getting visitors. You're getting visitors, right? But with SEO, as you can see with the yellow line, no matter how much you're investing into it, as you can see, over time, your ROI, you may be, you know, paying a company to, to do your SEO for, let's just say, like $500, $750, right? You're paying them. So even when you're getting this amount of visitors, you're still paying that same amount of money opposed to what Google Ads, you know, if you start off in the beginning not paying as much and you ramped up your budget, it may not be as good of an ROI because at that point, you know, like I said, you had to pay more money to get more of those leads. Plus SEO, you're paying the same amount of money and get the same amount of leads. You know, sustainability. An SEO campaign is very sustainable. It's very consistent, right? It's like the tortoise and the hare. So it's very consistent. You have that sustainability when it comes to your SEO campaigns. And you go throughout, you know, you go through and you throughout. It's consistent. It's sustainable, right? Sometimes a Google Ads campaign cannot be sustainable at that point, right? Because you have somebody that's bidding too much. You have somebody that, you know, a competitor's bidding too much. And you're like, I cannot keep paying this price. This is not sustainable for my business. I'm not getting an ROI. You know, it's, and we can talk about that when it comes to you being in the busy months and you being in the slow months, right? So that's, that plays a big role in that as well because it's the sustainability. When you're in those slower months, when you hit seasonality at that point, are Google ads going to return? Are they going to be sustainable? They're not sustainable during that time, but SEO is. You know, longer lasting results. We talked about it. Once you turn your Google ads off, they're gone. But once you do, once you have SEO, you see that they're longer lasting results, right? So they're longer lasting. You're gonna see those for quite some time. So that's why I always say when it comes to you know, SEO, you see those longer lasting results, you know? So that's why I like SEO as well. Credibility and trust. So you build that credibility and trust because I know for me, if I see a business in the map pack and, and they're implementing an SEO campaign, right? So if you're implementing SEO in your business, 
you know, you're going to get more reviews inherently because you're going to get more jobs. You're going to build that credibility. You're going to build that trust. So people that see you on that first page with a lot of good reviews as well, you're building that credibility. You're building that trust, right? Because you got to think about it. It can be the difference if you're doing a commercial project and then, you know, let's say that the property manager went ahead and you have all your bids and they look and they look you up online, right? And then let, let's just say that they say, you know what? We want to add another company in the mix. Let's let's look at pressure washing, you know, Atlanta. Let's say this commercial jobs in Atlanta, right? And they see your business not only is running Google Ads, but let's just say that you show up organically as well in that map pack and you show up like number one, number two organically. They're gonna be like, This is a very good business. They have their stuff together. You know what? You know what? We may give them this business then, right? So that can be the make or break. You know, better conversion rate. When people tend to go with SEO, they just convert better because they because like I said, they see the totality of your business and it goes back to credibility and trust. So they, they know your business at that point, they look that you're credible, they trust you, so therefore they're going to convert at that point. The cons of SEO, right? It takes a long time to see results a lot of the time, right? It takes a very long time, especially if you're in a very competitive market. It can take a long time in order for you to go ahead and see those results when it comes to your SEO campaign. Right, so those are some of the things that you definitely want to take into consideration. The algorithm. At any moment, Google can just say we have a new algorithm. You know what? You were number you were number one. Now now you're number three based off of our new algorithm rules. Right. Generally, this doesn't necessarily happen often, but it can happen. You're always at risk for that. Right. So algorithmic changes can always just kind of like whether you're ranking in the map pack. You're getting most of your business from there, and algorithm changes, and you're no longer in that map pack no more, right? You want to take that in consideration. You know, SEO is not something that you can just stop at that point. There's always somebody that's going to be implementing it as well. That's why there's no such thing as just, I'm 100% optimizing my SEO campaign. No, you have to continuously, it's a never-ending, ongoing process. You know what I mean? That has to happen. You have to continuously be optimizing your website, right? Because somebody else will, and somebody else will take your organic traffic if you stop, right? The uncertainty. A lot of you know, a lot of pressure washing businesses know the uncertainty of you know running a you know running an SEO campaign. Who to trust, right? Do you know if you're gonna get results? You see, with Google Ads, it's a lot easier to go ahead and have that certainty because you know I'm gonna be right there immediately. I can go ahead and get these results probably, right? With SEO, you don't there's no certainty that you're going to get the results that you desire, right? So that's a big con about SEO is the uncertainty. Like, am I gonna get the results that I desire? You know, so some common cases you may choose Google Ads over SEO, right? You know, you're relatively you're a relatively new business that has a budget and needs immediate results. So for example, I'm gonna go back to the Orlando example. If I'm in Orlando and I'm a new business, I've been doing direct mail flyers, I've been doing door signs, you know, I've been using, you know, Home Advisor and they've been giving me some leads, but they're a crap, you know, they're like, you're a crap company anyway. I'm trying to move on from you, right? I built a good customer base. I've been in business for like a year and a half, two years, and I'm ready to take that next level. Then at that point, like I said, Google, you may choose Google Ads over SEO because you're in a bigger city. It's going to take you way longer to get results for your SEO and you want immediate leads now, right? So that's how you get immediate leads. You go ahead and you utilize, you, you utilize Google Ads. Another case you may use Google Ads over SEO is you have a good organic presence but want to get more leads online. So I know that kind of makes no sense in the sense that, wait, you know, um, I have SEO already, so like I said, it's one of those things that you can also use Google Ads in conjunction, which I'll talk about later as well. You know, but you may be in a small city to where it takes nothing in order to rank in terms of, um, you know, for your SEO. So then at that point, like I said, you, you utilize Google Ads because you want to have a better, you know, you, you want to just get more leads online. Also, like I said, you know, you have a new service that you offer and you want to get more leads for it. So let's just say on your website, you're working for like your pressure washing terms, your power washing terms, roof cleaning, gutter, you know, not, not gutter cleaning, but like window cleaning, right? But you're like, you know what? We offer gutter cleaning now, you know? So once you, order, once you offer gutter cleaning, you know, with Google Ads, you can get immediate results from that, right? So from your new service, you know, when you wanted to get your guys trained on that, on the spot, all of that instead of saying, man, we have to wait or we have to do this and that. You can easily implement Google Ads and have people come to you for the new service that you provide. And it's just like seasonal offerings, just like Christmas lights. A lot of people offer Christmas lights during like October, November, December time. 
basically November, December time, you know, and with that being said, you may not rank for that, but you still want to do Christmas light installation, right? You can go ahead and run a Google ad real fast and get that, you know, and get those immediate results too. And also, like I talked about earlier, you want to expand your business into a new market. So let's say, let's say that you are in a small kind of suburb kind of area where, like I said, you have a good organic presence, but want to get more leads online where you don't necessarily have to use, utilize SEO because there's no competition in your area, right? Well, let's just say that you want to expand to, you know, let's, let's, let, let, Let's say that um, you you're 40 miles away from Charlotte, but you're like, you know what? I want to expand my I want to expand my business into a new market, into Charlotte, because I want to I know that I'm capped out of where I'm currently at, you know, in my area. Then you can use Google Ads or run a Google Ads campaign in the Charlotte area without having to invest all this money in SEO to get you ranked in that area, right? You immediately can get results from there. So some common cases you may choose SEO over Google Ads, right? You have a systemized way of attaining leads already in place, and you can wait for organic results, right? So you ha you, your Facebook ads are humming. You have a large CRM, and you have your office manager call them, you know, consistently, and you have follow-up systems. You have commercial contracts. You know, you're always sending out, you know, EDDMs and things like that and targeting neighborhoods. So you already have a paid strategy down right now, and you're like, you know what, man? I'm not willing to invest my money in your Google Ads. I just want my organic presence to be up because I'm already paying for other sources. And you're like, okay, then let's go ahead. You live in a small populated area where there's not much competition and a cap on the amount of leads you can acquire from Google, right? So in that case, like I said, you know, you, you're capped out right there at that point, you know, on the amount of leads that you can acquire from Google. So you're in a very, very small city, but you're a new business. So you're like, you know what? I don't necessarily need to run Google Ads to get business right now. You know, I can run this kind of campaign, you know, whether it be, you know, door doors, you know, door hangers, yard signs, whatever it may be. But you're like, you know what, since it's going to be very low competition for me to go ahead and rank SEO wise, let me go ahead and just go the SEO route. So that's me. So that's some cases where you choose SEO over Google Ads, right? You understand that SEO becomes that much more difficult the longer that you wait. You know, so you may say that, like, you know what, I need to get this SEO campaign started anyway. Like, right now I may not have the budget for Google Ads, but you know what, I know that, you know, the longer I wait, the more my competition is going to, you know, increase their organic presence, so I need to get on the boat right now, right? And then also you value driving consistent leads to your business in the long term. So the big question, what is better, Google Ads or SEO? And my personal question and my favorite are going to be both. Right, and you're probably saying all that stuff. Wait, you know, contradicted. Hear me out, though. Right. So the benefits of using SEO and Google Ads, right, is you have more equity on search engines. Not only will you show up in that top, you know, with those top ads, but you show up in the map pack, and you can show up organically, right? So you have that much more equity. People are finding you three times, so they're like, man, I can't get away from this company on Google. And guess what? They're probably going to use you. You know, you can drive paid traffic while waiting for SEO results, right? So you can run a Google Ads campaign and then you're getting immediate leads at that point while your SEO traffic is catching up. And it's like the graph that I showed you guys to where the SEO campaign was exponentially moving up and the PPC was just kind of like the same, right? So then over a six months, after six months or whatever, you're getting a lot of your leads from SEO and things like that, right? So like I said, you can use them in conjunction. My biggest and favorite thing is that you can use the data from both to drive better results, right? So in your Google Ads campaign, I can see specifically the keywords that people looked and clicked on my ad for, right? So then at that point, if after I have about two to three months of data, if I'm running an SEO campaign, I'm saying, you know what? These are the keywords specifically that people are searching from on my Google Ads, right? Let's implement this in our SEO campaign so that we can rank for these keywords as well. So you use that data to drive better results for your business. They also go in conjunction with other forms of marketing. You know what I mean? So they go in conjunction with other forms of marketing. So then at that point, like I said, you know, they, they go in with Facebook ads. So if you're running a Facebook ad and then somebody's like, you know what, I know I need pressure washing. Let me look this up on Google too. They search you on Google and they see that you not only running Google ads, but you're running an SEO. They send you in three or four different ways, you know, or let's just say that they saw your yard sign at that point and they say, you know what, let me look this company up on Google. They not only, you know, they see your website, they see all of that or, let me, or, you know, they say, once again, we need pressure washing services and they see your business right there. You've had multiple touches with them, right? So they go hand in hand with other forms of marketing, you know, so in conclusion, right? 
you know, whether you want to use SEO or Google Ads is going to really depend on your short-term and long-term goals. My specific opinion is that if you're in a large city like that, you know, and you want immediate results, you're like in a Jacksonville, you're in a Miami, you're in a, I keep naming Florida places, or I love Florida, but you're like in the Austin, Texas area, Los Angeles, you may want to consider running, like I said, a Google Ads campaign to get immediate results, right? Your long-term goals, you know, if you already have a good paid advertising strategy down and your long-term goal is to, you know, make it a more effective way to get an ROI when it comes to your marketing, then yes, you know, you know, Google Ads, or no, SEO could be your best route for that, right? And, you know, you can always use conjunct, you know, both. But it really depends on what are your short-term goals and long-term goals. Short-term goals, let me get more leads. Long-term goals, I want to get leads at a, at a more effective price, right? But short-term goal, I need leads now. You know, I live in a big city. I need leads now. I can't compete with these bigger companies right now, right? And where are you currently at in your business? And this is the biggest thing as well when it comes to this, right? Is that are you at the development stage of your business? Are you the startup? Are you the growth, expansion, maturity, right? Like I always said, I don't really think that people should should invest their money into into Google Ads, right? You know, or even any online form of any online form of marketing if they can't spend at least a thousand dollars for digital marketing every single month. That's just my opinion, right? Because you're still there's still other cost effective ways that you can utilize so that you can you know get your business. On that growth path, right? Usually, once you're at that, once at this growth stage in your business, that's when you can really like invest your money into a form of, you know, um, Google Ads or SEO to take your business to that expansion route, right? To where you're expanding, like, you know what, Jonathan, I'm already growing, but I want to take my business to that next level, right? So then, at that point, you're like, you know what, you know, let's go ahead and get get you on Google Ads, let's get you on SEO, right? You've been living off of all these paid other, you know, these other strategies, and you haven't really had a good website, a good organic presence. I don't know how the hell you've done it, man, but let's go ahead and expand your business, you know? And so you use those online digital marketing kind of things to get your business to that expansion so that you are, you know, you're reaching that level where you're the boss. You're not, you know, you're not out there washing houses no more. You're not even answering calls. You're really growing the business instead of being in it at that point, right? So that's why I always tell people, it depends on where you're at in the stage of your business. If you're just like, you just started two months ago, man, and you're in like, let's just say New Orleans, and you started two months ago, you shouldn't really be looking for SEO services right now, man, because it's going to be very hard to go ahead and rank right there. And you can use other forms of marketing to capture a customer base at that point, right? Mm -hmm. to, to at least get a good customer base going before even investing in digital marketing services. So that's just my opinion, though. But that really does matter, right? So if you need help with the online marketing, you know, you can visit our website here at pwmarketingpros.com. Or you can visit, you know, visit our website. You can call us at 478-333-4373. But yeah, that's my thing. Google Ads versus SEO. Which one is best for your business? So hopefully this video went ahead and showed you guys some things that you guys can do, you know, and it provided you value so that you guys can, you know, kick butt when it comes to your online marketing. So like I said, thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you soon.